Hey everybody, this is Underpin15 here. Um, sorry I haven't done this in a while. I've been busy with work. And, um, but I just got off work not too long ago, so I figured why not go ahead and do this. So, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, as most of you know, my channel has usually been mostly devoted to like music and stuff. But today, I figured, you know what, I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to... I'm going to review a movie that I saw the other day. It's called The Human Centipede 2 Full Sequence. As most, of, as most of you know, and if you don't, you've been living under a rock. Um, the Human Centipede 1 first sequence um, came out a few years ago. And it was directed by, um, you know, it was directed by, produced by, and written by a guy named Tom Six. People, people have said that the movie was one of the most disgusting, perverted, just downright depraved movies of all time. And that Tom Six was one sick bastard. You know, think what you want to on the whole him being bastard thing. But me personally, I didn't really think that it was... I can see how people will say it was like that, but... I didn't really think it was that bad. I saw the movie about two or three years ago. It was it, it was boring to me, but that's whatever. All right, so the humans tend to be, okay, um, first of all, just to give you a little background check on myself when it comes to movies, um, I've seen movies like August Underground's Mortem, um, a, a Serbian film, which, both of those movies I actually like. They're two of my favorite horror movies of all time. And, um, obviously, The Human Centipede 1 and 2. And I plan on seeing the third one when it comes out. And I, I've seen I've seen clips and scenes of Antichrist, but I never saw the whole movie. Just never really... Just never really got a chance to. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And so, as for my actual review of the Human Centipede 2 full sequence, it was shot mostly in black and white. Um, personally, I, I'm, some people have said that was a bad move, but I actually kind of like that move because it kind of made the whole movie seem a little more creepy and a little more disturbing. Sure, it made the gore seem a little more. It may have made the gore seem a little more tame, depending on how you look at it. But I just really liked it. I thought it was a great idea. And there is no, there is almost no dialogue in the entire movie. There's a little, there is very, very, very little dialogue, like in the first half. But there is none in the second half. <laughs> Except for like, you know, the occasional voicemail call. And, you know, like moans, screams, basically crap like that. Um, in case you were wondering, I'm actually on Wikipedia right now. I saw, I saw the movie myself uh, a couple days ago. But... You know, it's Wikipedia is your friend. That and Google. <sighs> okay, so the actual release date in the United States is October 7th, 2011. That's when it was. I saw it... Yeah, I actually saw it exactly two days ago. So... Like the actual plot of the of full sequence. Basically, the, the main character Marty. He just who des just who described him. He literally looks like a toad. I'm not even joking. He literally looks like a fucking toad. And um, he lives in a shitty apartment. He lives with he lives with his somewhat abusive mother 
I say someone abusive because, well, she tried to kill him. <laughs> yeah. So somewhat abusive. And, um, he lives in, sh he lives in a shitty night shift job as a, I, I guess as a security guard. I'm not really sure what he's doing. But, yeah. <laughs> oh. And one thing that you might find interesting, I I, I found it kind of interesting myself. The the um the setting for for a lot of the movie where the uh, actual centipede takes place, it looks a lot like the sets of the first Saw movie. That uh, I actually find that really. Interesting, personally. But, it's whatever. It made... Huh, I didn't even realize it was, in, it was released in theaters. Apparently at the box office it made $108,498. Well, that sucks, anyway. Anyway, this guy Martin is, um... He's really obsessed with the first human sense of being like to the point that actually gets him off so he's so you know he's actually so obsessed with it that he's actually taking notes on how to build his own and he does with like I guess it was like 10 10 people I didn't actually count, but it looked like 10 people. Um, one of the differences between this film and the last film, this film is a lot more detailed and a lot more graphic with the actual making this into being and like, you know, the shitting. Yeah, you actually see that. You actually see him like preparing the victims for you know becoming a centipede I'm not going to go into too much detail right there um, in case you're the squeamish type but me personally <clears throat> that kind of got me <laughs> because I, I got a thing about eyes and teeth I don't I don't like them to be messed with yeah no, not for me. And, um... <clears throat> so... Will I see this movie again? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'll probably see it, I don't know, one or two more times when I'm bored. Will I actually go out and buy it? No. I, and I, in fact, I actually saw it online without paying for it. I'm not going to pay for this piece of shit. Are you kidding me? I don't pay for hardly any movies anymore. <laughs> so, you know. What? If you like that kind of movie, the, the kind that's basically, you know, really exploitative, go out and watch it. You'll, you'll get a kick out of it. I did. If you don't like that kind of movie, you're not going to like it. You're really not going to like it at all. So yeah, that's my review of The Human City to be 2 full sequence. And rate, comment, and like. Because I like likes. Every YouTuber likes likes. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. It's Underfan15. Have a good day.